Hi everyone, it's Victoria from FB Ad Queen and I'm here with James Wedmore who has graciously given me his time today. Um, he is the brains behind the Video Traffic Academy product which you may have seen around and I was lucky enough to meet James a couple of weeks ago in Dallas at the Ali Brown Shine event. In Texas. And in Texas. It was bigger than Texas in Dallas. I mean, it's, it's amazing to see how you know you, you can be so masterful with video and it seems to have su take such little effort but I haven't quite mastered that yet so I was hoping yeah that you could give us give me some advice and some of you share some of your wisdom so. I think you know what Victoria you're on to something because <laughs> it really is about making it simple on your end but then having it look really really good at the same mm -hmm. time so I used to do graphic des my own graphic design for my ah. websites and stuff, and I was yep. never a very good graphic designer. I didn't have a lot of skill, but I could take simple design and make it look good. It's the whole concept of less is more. Yep. And I think that's really important, so I think you're onto something there. But, but yeah, I'd love to answer any questions you have uh, right. regarding YouTube, video marketing. Video marketing, the term itself, is a really big topic. Uh, it's like, yeah. let's talk about the Civil War, right? <laughs> so uh, we can dive deep. We can go into anything you want. And then I know you have your channel. You're doing some videos. I'm more than happy to give you some critiques because I can see all the things right. you're doing wrong. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much, James. It's so nice of you to point out my inadequacies. Um, yep. That's what I'm here <laughs> for. Perhaps why don't we start there um, at my channel. If you can share it and perhaps just dive yeah. in and give me your honest feedback. I'll um, thicken my skin and try not to cry. Cool. So I got your link here. It's youtube.com mm -hmm. forward slash FB ad queen. That's me. FB ad queen. So the ad queen meets the YouTube king. Yeah. <laughs> Royalty here in the house. I know. Absolutely. All right. So here's the first thing. Every single one of your videos needs to be attached to some way to a keyword or keyword phrase. So okay. no more just making a video because you feel like making a video. <laughs> if someone is oh. if someone is searching in Google how to set up a Facebook account, yep. then you make a video showing people exactly how to do that. So you wanna find okay. keywords that get a minimum of about eight to 10,000 searches a month and as much okay. as about 50,000 searches a month. And you know how to do that. It's the Google Keyword Tool. Yes. Yes, so, or I can do like a key, that keyword spy or um, yeah. uh, what's the one with the armor? I can't think market, of the other. Market keyword. Samurai? Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. <laughs> that's it. I could think of the icon. I, I got you. So, so you can do the paid tool so as well. So when you know the keyword, Victoria, mm -hmm. then you put the keyword at the beginning of your title, at the right. beginning of your description. You okay. talk about it in your video and right. you put it in the tags. That's Four, right <laughs> so um, looking at your video right now there's three things I really want you to do to all your videos uh, okay. there's, like, there's like 20 things but I know <laughs> but it's good cuz yeah, it's guys time. everybody even though we're looking at Victoria's channel and you go what's that have to do with my channel the, <laughs> the bottom line is that you guys all most people have a few YouTube videos up you know when I ask yeah. people at, a, at an event I'm speaking Raise your hand if you have a YouTube video. Like more than 50% of the people raise their hand. They have yeah. videos up. They're just not working. So we're yeah. we want to start by getting your existing videos to work for you better. Step right. one is to make sure that each video is optimized for one of your keywords or keyword phrases. Like how to use Facebook ads is a keyword, okay. right? Can that be? Can it be that long, my keyword? Or, well, like you, I was you tell thinking. me. You got to do the research. If, okay. Yeah. Well. If, okay. Well, maybe I haven't done that. <laughs> yeah. If ten thousand people a month are searching how to use Facebook ads, that's your yep. keyword. Absolutely. Okay. So when I say keyword, I mean keyword phrase. Yeah. I mean, I knew, I knew you could have more than one word. I just thought that the longer it got, that that wasn't doable. Sure. But anyway, that's okay. And that's, that's not. And that's a good. That's a good point. But you just have to. You have to go and do the due diligence and do the research. Okay. So Excellent. put that keyword in as many places as you can. So there's a few right. other things I want you to do. Your 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 descriptions, they yes. suck because you don't have a description. <laughs> so under each video, you're going to take a second and write about a paragraph or two of text. Okay. Kind of like if you were to make a blog post out of each of your videos. Yes. Okay. And put cool. your keyword in there. 
Put your keyword yes. in the in the description two or three times. I had done that with my other ones, but uh, obviously not the one enough. I'm looking at has no, no description. No, it doesn't have it. <laughs> Unac- unacceptable, Victoria. <laughs> I'm in big trouble you with big YouTube trouble. King. <laughs> so, so we like to have a lot of fun here, folks. Yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> so. You also want to, uh, your keyword at the very beginning of your description before your URL. So you have your URL in the description, but you don't have the keyword before it. That's a great little trick. So do that. Ah, okay. um, get each of your videos transcribed. Yes, okay. And get the, oh wait, maybe you have the transcription on, on this no, one. No, I don't. Let me see. I haven't done that. It's, it's Victoria Gibson. Okay. So get the transcriptions up there. You can get someone to do that at Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and mm-hmm. um, that'll be great. Let's see what your tags. You don't have your your tags no tag. are no good either. No I want you to have about fifteen. No sorry, f- fifteen <laughs> tags uh, for each video. So the okay. last thing I want you to do with your video, uh, your existing videos, is add what is called the call to action overlay. Right. It's inside I my course. In the course. For, yeah. yeah. For people who don't know what that is, it's a little banner image that you get to control and put up at the bottom lower third of your videos so people can click over to where you go. Now, the other thing, I'm going to throw a lot of stuff out here and some of this is going to go over people's heads. I'm going to talk fast. Yeah. I have not gone to Victoria's website, which is fbadqueen.com. So I don't yes. know what's there. I don't know what's showing up. But here's what I want from you, Victoria. Yeah. I want, whenever I click from YouTube, I want to go to some sort of video squeeze page where you can get my name and email address from me. Ah, okay, great. Okay, don't just send me to a blog. Uh, Don't just send me to a sales page. Send me somewhere where there's a video that auto plays and tells me how I can do more, get more from you. Fantastic. So can I interrupt there and just go off track because this will be relevant for my audience and this is one of the other things I wanted to talk to you about that I didn't actually flag with you was that um, that, that's a really important point and I've seen a few Facebook ads that go to a YouTube channel and I wanted to ask you what the best way to then direct them to a squeeze page is because um, YouTube could could be a, you know a really different way to use um, Facebook ads, yeah. and you can obviously show a lot more. So yeah. perhaps you know, and and also approvals would be better um, because Facebook would probably be happier sending to YouTube videos instead of some certain sales pages. So so, so you're saying you put this call to action on there? And yeah. Easy- and 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 let me let me just go ahead and answer because I know what you're saying. The question yeah. Victoria is asking is how do we convert YouTube views? into yes. website visitors. Yeah, and, and there's, there's, there's three tactics for doing that successfully on YouTube, but there's one strategy, and the one strategy is to have a compelling call to action. You have okay. to tell people what to do at the end of your video and yes. why they need to do it. And so the best okay. compelling call to action is to give them something of value for free. Yes. Okay, okay. so there's three ways to get people from YouTube onto your website. The first one is at the end of your video, Victoria, at the end of every video, you're gonna say, thanks for watching this short video. Now to learn more about how to profit from Facebook ads and drive more targeted traffic to your business, hop on over to fbadqueen.com where I'm gonna give you my three part video training series absolutely free to show you all the ins and outs and secrets of Facebook ads. Go ahead, click the link below or type in FB Ad Queen in your browser above, and I'll see you over there on the next page. Oh, okay? Jason, you did that so well. Yeah, Fantastic. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done this enough. <laughs> so um, that's the first one. Say it in your video. Tell people what to do and why they need to do it. The more compelling okay. your call to action is, the more likely people are going to get over there. That's the first one. The second one is to have your URL in the description box like you already do. Beautiful. Yeah. And the third yeah. one is to do what I already told you you need to do. Add that call to action overlay, the little banner ad that's going to pop up at the lower third of your videos. Put that in there. And you're, have, and you're okay. Ready. I won't bog it down to ask how I do that because it's in your course. It is, and it's way <laughs> it's too technical and boring for this. Yes. It's, okay. It's cool. like seven little steps you got to do, yeah. and it's too okay. boring. But, uh, but, one, but it's doable, is the point. Totally it's not doable. Out. If you can follow directions, you can do it. Oh. Uh, hmm. <laughs> so you might have trouble, but other people out there won't. <laughs> I definitely might have trouble, but that's okay as long as it's it's a doable thing because to me that just sounds like I'd have to outsource that, but I you, don't. You right? totally could. Um, okay. So that, that's all I want to talk about. There's one last thing I want to uh, yes. talk to you about, 
and then we're gonna we're gonna cut it because uh, I like short short content rich sure. videos. For your future videos, there are two things yes. I want from you: videos weekly. Do yes. your best to do one video a week, then you can turn okay. it into a blog post as well. Yes. But the other thing too is I want to see more of you because when you just do these screen capture videos yeah. on ScreenFlow, your thumbnails aren't very inviting. Right, okay. And sure. so people don't want to click on the thumbnail of a video that has a crappy thumbnail. So you, this beautiful woman in front of the camera, is are going to get clicked on by a bunch of men that are interested uh -oh. in learning in Facebook ads. <laughs> men and women. So, yeah. so be yeah, in the front of the camera more. Get more... Get more visuals in your okay. videos, and okay. uh, people will click on your on your videos more. Because um, just to show you another one, although these these are all sort of screen flow ones, but I do have some. Just I do. I, I've, I'm looking at them here. I want. Yeah, I want. I want, I want you to do both. I want you to have a video where it starts out and it's just you, and then you yeah. go, "All right, guys, let's go back to the laptop now and and do some work, and then okay. cut." Okay. That's going to just require me to get a bit happier with ScreenFlow because I'm still a bit of a newbie on it. I love, so, I love yeah, ScreenFlow. I so if anyone's on a Mac, ScreenFlow is the way to go. Yeah, okay, good. Well, I'm loving it, but I just don't know enough. But I need to just revisit your course on how to just get in and out of my videos. Yes. But the other one I wanted to ask you was, interestingly enough, and this must be either keyword related or also I've had a lot of people promote this video for me just organically, which has been great, is the how to add a custom landing tab to your Facebook page. Can you see most of my views are really low, like 80, 20, whatever. And then that one's 457. So there's obviously something... That must be keyword related, right? The, well, let's that, see. Yes. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and look. So what Victoria is asking is that one of her videos is getting a lot more views mm. than all the other ones, and yeah. you know what? So she's seen some level of success, even though your URL is not on the first line of your description <laughs> here. Um, this was I did that video before I watched your program. That's why. Ah, okay. Mm. So. Here's the thing. It's one it's one thing to get success in your business and get some sort of results, but if you don't know why or how you're getting those result those results, yeah. you know, can't repeat it. You can't repeat it. You can't replicate it. You can't grow off of that. So, fortunately, YouTube gives us fantastic statistics on where our views coming are coming from. So, I'm looking here and the majority of your your views are coming from two sources, maybe three. The first one is it looks like you put the video on your your blog or so, website. Yes, I have. Yeah. You're getting a lot a of your views from there. So that's good. Right. Okay. The other one is you're getting picked up on related videos. So people are watching another video then clicking over uh, to yours. Yes. And then the third one is that yeah, a few people are finding you in Google, which means that you've uh you've done a good job to optimize the video. You could do better, but you're doing a it's a good start. It is. So tell us more about the product and and why people need it yeah it's uh you can't find a a, a cheaper course that yeah, has okay. everything that you absolutely need to know not just about video and video marketing but mm. about youtube marketing video seo and online traffic generation yeah uh, and, and you explain it really simply it's it's it is really easy to understand and the modules are going to Depth, but you can pick and choose what you need at the time too, which is great. Yeah, I, really I basically like spent four years creating this course. So, <laughs> oh, no. so uh, just give give me the um, uh, address. It's obviously videotrafficacademy.com. Yeah, videotrafficacademy.com, and I'm sure you'll put a link below this oh, video yeah. in I'll the description that. box. Hint, hint. So, <laughs> I will definitely do that because people should check it out because it's very reasonably priced yeah. and. It is. It, you can't. Right. You, you couldn't charge. Any, I couldn't charge any less for it. It would be uh, no. That, that would be stealing. Yeah, it's already so cheap that people don't value it until they actually take the time to go in there and go, "Oh, wow! I didn't realize I was getting all this." Like that is really true, yeah, actually. So. Um, because I went in there and went, "Oh my god, I can't believe that this is selling for such a good price." I so know, I know. It's great. Well, well, let's wrap it up because short videos are good videos. But it's um, thank you for the free consulting. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, let's do another video soon. For sure. All right, Victoria. Have a great day, everyone okay, else. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for watching.